And good morning, it's my Jeep update for, for Sunday, May 20th, I believe. And it's around uh, 8 o'clock, 0800 for your military types. Okay, and I'm going over all my connections right now. I've checked all my EVAP lines, uh, fuel lines, and fuel vent, electrical connections, and uh, doing some last minute checks. Yeah, I'm just doing some last minute checks of all my lines, checking for possible leaks. It was running rough when I started up yesterday. I put, uh, you see where I put a clamp there. Uh, and I checked all these other lines for possible holes, leaks, or if I may have uh, pulled some of them loose with all this in and out of the fuel tank and dropping the uh, evap canister assembly. It looks like a spider's nest back in there. I couldn't find any. Uh, I did put a clamp, like I said earlier, and I checked the connections. That's about all I can do right now. Before I completely install the uh, gas tank, I'm gonna get this thing, or try to get it running uh, much better than it is right now. It will not idle. Yesterday, uh, as I was running the engine, no lights or codes popped up. Uh, we'll be looking for those today. We'll see what happens. And moving over here to the right, uh, to the skid plate, you can see where I cut out or extended the width of that cutaway. Made it a lot easier on that filler hose. Yes, it's not very pretty. Okay, I got it running. It fired right up on the first crank. Uh, just a couple turnovers. It's running better, still a little rough, but it's running better than yesterday after putting uh, a few more gallons. I think I put, it's probably got up between four and five gallons in it now. The strike is barely below a quarter. It's definitely running smoother. It's not perfect, but it's run a lot better than yesterday. I'm gonna let it run for about 10 minutes. Check it, I checked all the fluids, everything looked good yesterday. All I did this morning really was um, check uh, hoses and lines, going back over them, to make sure everything was uh, in place and I don't see no leaks. My pump, it looks uh, good and dry. I'm going to let it run for about 10 minutes and come back out here and check it. That's a my deep out. Okay, this is a my Jeep uh, update, still Sunday. Uh, you can see that I got it started again. Ran it about 10 minutes earlier, and it would not idle. Well, it's idling right now. You can see it's rough, but it is idling on its own. So it still, uh, so I got a little improvement. I do have some sea foam in there, a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. It's not that rough. I'm surprised that it's idling. I uh, started up. After it warmed up, I ran it up to about 3,000 RPM, uh, 2,500 RPM a couple of times. Held it there and then just let go. Got off of it and it uh, idled on its own at about, about 800 RPM, I think. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Yeah, it's our, it's uh, island about 750. Well, I'm gonna let it, uh, you see it's still low on fuel, less than a quarter, but it is running better. I'm a little happier, a little more confident. Okay, uh, that's a quick update. My Jeep, uh, I'll stand by. What I'll probably do, 
is uh, this is going to be a short video and uh, I just want to get an update out there on this Jeep because I've been working on this that differential for months and months and now the tank giving me problem the evap system tank's been in and out several times anyway quick update and I will post it thank you for watching Good